I want to start with a few thank yous. Uh, first, I want to thank Emily Schaefer. This project would not have happened uh, without her work on behalf of public safety. My staff, Erica Strasberger, uh, Hirsch Merenstein, and Alicia Carberry, who made endless runs around the city collecting bears and distributing boxes. Uh, and most of all, I want to thank the people of Pittsburgh uh, and Allegheny County and quite frankly around the country. When I set out with this plan around last Christmas, we thought might, we might collect about 300 bears, which would be a great thing to donate around the city. In total, we have over 3,200 bears that have been dedicated to public safety by residents across the country. We had groups donate. We had individuals mail us Amazon boxes of teddy bears uh, that they shipped to my office into police zones to donate. Uh, we had Union Pig and Chicken Restaurant uh, run a drive, the Pennsylvania Apartment, uh, Steiner Realty, different local media outlets, the Moose Lodge, really amazing response from people uh, who recognize that our most vulnerable citizens, our children, sometimes face circumstances we can't even comprehend. Uh, could be late night and they suddenly are in a car accident. The police are called to their house. There's a fire um, in their neighborhood and they're scared rightfully scared about the future. And for our officers, our paramedics, to be able to comfort them with one of these bears will be absolutely incredible. Uh, and with this total, we have the ability to have 20 bears for every single police car and ambulance in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, we'll start with bags of five just for safety. Uh, and as they use them, we are able to, to refill uh, what I expect to be for years to come with this kind of generosity. We did also receive some bears that did not fit, uh, either because of size. We had one bear as big as almost six feet tall. Uh, and, and different uh, issues like that, we have gone ahead uh, and donated those bears to the Center for Victims and also to Goodwill. Uh, so those bears which could not go in our ambulance and our police cars have still found uh, a great home with a child in the community. Uh, I want to introduce uh, three gentlemen who will speak uh, to talk about the impact this will have and from their life experiences on the street uh, and in these situations. And to start, it's our Public Safety Director, uh, Wendell Hisrick. Director. Thank you, Councilman. I just want to reflect what Councilman Gilman stated, although I was going to ask him for a new vehicle to transport the large, uh, large animal, but I guess we don't have to worry about that now. But anyway, as many of you are aware, I was a paramedic here in Pittsburgh from 1985 and 1990, and we had a similar program back then, and it was a success. I had firsthand knowledge of that and actually experienced being able to give a bear to a child that was involved in an accident, and if you team the right bear up with the right paramedic or police officer, there's obviously going to be a connection with that child. So with that being said, I also would like to thank the citizens, residents, and the uh, many businesses that have contributed the bears to this, to this drive. Um, the thing about it is that with all these bears, hopefully, I hope that we don't have to use all those bears. Um, because if that, any time that we use a bear, there's a child that is obviously scared, frightened, and uh, there's a problem. And the goal that I would have is that we try to use as least amount of bears as possible, meaning that no one, no child is in any, any danger whatsoever. So once again, thank you. And at this time, I'll introduce Assistant Chief Scott Schubert of the Pittsburgh Police. Uh, on behalf of the Pittsburgh Police, this, this is a great program. This is a great initiative for us to be a part of. Uh, can't thank uh, Councilman Gilman enough for everything he's done uh, with Emily to, to get this up and running. And uh, more importantly, too, to thank all of the, the, the citizens that donated the, uh, the bears. It, it says a lot about our, our community. People are willing to come forward and help out. And uh, it's just an awesome, awesome thing. Uh, I can tell you, uh, just on the police side, when we go to calls, uh, a lot of times it's not the greatest day that somebody's having. And when you throw in a child into that, it makes it that much more uh, difficult for everybody. And to, to be able to uh, help a child by giving them a teddy bear and you know, show the compassion, uh, which is one of our core values with the Pittsburgh police, and to be able to help them and just take their their mind off of what's going on because they're confused they're scared uh, they have no idea what's going on and being able to give them something and uh, and allow them just for that little bit of time to take their minds off of what's going on uh, is a great thing and uh, we're proud to be a part of it um, 
and it's something that I think will help us out. It will help public safety out with, with EMS as well and, uh, and make a huge difference uh, in the, the calls for service that we, we have to go on every day. And as the director said, hopefully we don't have to use a lot of them, um, you know, but the, the reality is, unfortunately, we, we have to deal with a lot of children uh, at different scenes. And whether it's minor, whether it's something that's, that's critical, um, you know, the level of compassion we can show to the children uh, will hopefully make a difference for, for them. So thank you. And uh, Chief Bob Farrow from EMS. Hi, and I also would uh, like to thank Councilman Gilman and his staff, Emily, for making this day happen. And the, it's truly touching the, the, the compassion of the citizens of the city of Pittsburgh, if you look behind me and, and take a look at all these bears that were donated and so forth. So it says a lot about the city we live in and, and so forth and the support we do receive from the public, and that, that's, that, that's very uh, touching. Um, in EMS, uh, you, as you can imagine, most of us in this room and most of uh, the viewers out there who are parents have experienced a, a point when a child's life when they're, they're not feeling well, they're injured in that, and you put that together with the fact that they're in the back of an ambulance being taken to the hospital by strangers who, you know, parents always teach as strangers, or, you know, not good or whatever. But um, what this really does is allows us to present that child who's sick, injured, having a really bad day. Um, something to hold on to, physically hold on to, and what it does is temporarily, hopefully, distracts them from their, their illness or injury. So uh, it's not uncommon for a child to cry from the time we pick them up to the time we get them to the hospital, the emergency room. And hopefully what this will do in many cases, and we, we like the Director of History said before, we had a program like this years ago, is proven to be very valuable, and it, it just gives that child a certain level of uh, comfort, and uh, that's, that's important when you're um, uh, even trying to treat them allows you to, you know, access, you know, access the patient and evaluate them, and they don't even know it because now they have something to hold on to, and they're comforted to a certain degree. Um, not only is it good for the patients, a lot of times we get adults that are injured, and their, their children have to ride with them to the hospital, and that's never a good experience for the child e either because we have to put them in the back of the ambulance, strap them into a car seat. So, even in that case. You know, oftentimes, if younger children, especially two, three years old, will end up crying the whole way to the hospital. So this would be, you know, the perfect item to, to hand them a stuffed animal and, and, and watch them, you know, react with it and hopefully provide some comfort and compassion for them. So, uh, again, I appreciate this. Uh, it looks like it's going to be sustainable for quite a while. And, um, and hopefully this will affect a lot of people very positive, especially the young children. Thank you. All right, thank you all so much for coming. At this time, we're going to open it up for a couple of questions. Uh, <laughs> I was just wondering how uh, you have these at about 10 different locations. And I think you mentioned that you travel all over the city. Tell me the different ways you collect them. Yeah, we had uh, boxes at every police zone. It's uh, the city county building, the Jewish Community Center in Squirrel Hill, as well as the Jewish Community Center in the South Hills. Those were the locations we chose. And then from there, the community took over. The Pennsylvanian downtown, uh, the apartment building, they ran their own drive. Union Pig and Chicken, a restaurant in East Liberty, they ran the, their own drive. Uh, I know some local media outlets put boxes uh, in their headquarters that they distributed. So it really just kind of spread naturally throughout the community. And if people call them up saying they have bears but couldn't get to you, we, we had, my staff was incredible. We picked up from places. Uh, we had people ship them to our office to distribute. We made sure anyone who wanted to participate, we were able to get there. Did you have this idea originally? Or? It was my idea. Um, just thinking about, uh, you know, and I've seen it on TV and in movies, you occasionally see uh, a police officer or a paramedic give a bear, and I thought, what a great idea for the city. And when I reached down, I learned we had done it in the past. Uh, and then I worked with Emily to, to determine the guidelines. It actually sounds a lot easier than it is, but you have to think carefully about that they're new bears. We didn't want used bears, uh, size, uh, where we were going to distribute, how we are going to collect. And had we known it was going to be 3,200, it probably would have taken even more planning on how we were going to collect because we made a lot of uh, changes midway through. Uh, but I thought about it. My original plan was to do it around the holidays, uh, but we found a great time to do it, and clearly Pittsburgh responded. Who set up all these bears? How long did it take? <laughs> That was, that was my staff and Emily. Um, they were here yesterday, last night, this morning. 
uh, they have put in endless hours uh, to do it. It's truly remarkable, and, and all of them doing it kind of on their own time, extra, uh, out of passion for this city. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate everyone coming out.